here with us today. Dwelling within our prayer. Sing it again. We say, Here we are. Lifting our heads to you. Thank you, Jesus. Here we are. Giving you thanks for all you do. And as we pray. And worship your holy You are He, you are He, dwelling within our prayers. You are He. indeed this morning how are you amen 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 Susie I need to trouble you again you know that uh, 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 knee something something song uh, moko ver or moko him or whatever it is, it is yes, Lord. yes Lord yes Lord worship him this morning yes Lord Worship him Somebody for a solution. Him, you are alive. He brought us here today. Yes, right from 2017. Yeah.
Solution Center today. Give him a shout of praise. Psalm 100. Message Bible. Psalm 100. Psalm 100. Message Bible. We need to celebrate God today for crossing us over. Hallelujah. Psalm 100. Message Bible. On your feet now, applaud God. So this is an instruction from the Lord. I'm not saying anything to you. The Lord is speaking to you this morning. On your feet now, applaud God. Give him an applause of praise. Give him a shout. Give him thanksgiving. Let him know that you know that you know that he is God. He brought us today. Hallelujah. He says, bring a gift of laughter. Sing yourselves into his presence. Go on. Know this. This is my favorite portion. Know this. God is God. And God, God. You see, there is no other God. The God of Solution Center, the God that brought us cross over, the God that is here with us this morning is God. So forget about these talismans and shrines and coconut trees and all this basket full of. Know this. God is God. And God, God. He made us, we didn't make him, we are his people, his world tended sheep. Now, 2018, this is what will give you your breakthrough. I explained it last year. We all have gadgets, we have mobile phones and tablets, and we all have passwords on it. And when you ask him for somebody to give you a number from his phone, they do some designs and everything, and add numbers before they can get the number out to assess God. This is the password. It says, enter with a password, thank you. Have you thanked him today for 2018? Have you thanked him for your family? Have you thanked him for the crossover? Have you thanked him for Solution Center this morning? Give him a shout of thanksgiving this morning. Enter with a password. Thank you. Make yourselves at home at Solution Center. Talk in praise. Thank him and worship him. Hallelujah. Now we're going to celebrate God. Exodus 32. 17 to 18, we'll celebrate God with a big shout today. Exodus 32, 17 to 18, we'll look at it in New Living Translation and Message Bible. Exodus 32, 17 to 18. I hope you're preparing your lungs and everything to give him a shout of praise this morning. As I said, some of us should not have made it. But guess what? We are here today. That alone is awesome. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, when Joshua heard the sound of the people shouting noisily, he said to Moses, that's the sound of war in the camp. 18. But Moses said, those are in songs of victory and those are in songs of defeat. I hear songs of people doing what? Uh, you are not happy. <laughs> You're not happy this morning, but you are still alive. Let's look at the New Living Translation. New Living Translation. New Living Translation. 17. 
When Joshua heard the boisterous noise of the people shouting below them, he exclaimed to Moses, it sounds like war in the camp. And what did Moses say? But Moses replied, no, it's not a shout of victory, nor the wailing of defeat. I hear the sound of celebration. <laughs> Celebrate God this morning with your shout. Celebrate his assistance. Celebrate your assistance. Celebrate the crossover. Celebrate his power. Celebrate your life. Celebrate the anointing. Celebrate it with a big shout. Shout to the glory of God this morning. Is that all you can do? Is that enough shout for you? For being alive? Bring the roof down with your shout. Let the devil hear your voice this morning. Let him hear you celebrating God. For making you who you are. And who we are in Solution Center. If only they knew your story. If only they knew your story. That on the 31st night. You had so much pain that you could not pray. If only they knew your story that you had no clothes to wear on the 31st night. But God crossed you over. So you are here to celebrate him. Shout to the glory of God. Let the devil know that we are alive. They really don't know your story. If they knew your story, they would have known that you could not even give first fruit on the first Sunday. If they knew your story, they would have known that the 31st night you could not even offer an offering. Because you had nothing. But God was not looking at you financially. He was looking at you as his image and likeness. So he brought us through. He took our diseases away. He took the poverty away. He took our sicknesses away. He brought us to Solution Center today. Give him a shout of praise. It's a shout of celebration. It's a shout of celebration. The message Bible says they were throwing a party. Throw a party in your spirit this morning to God with a shout. Say, Lord, I thank you for being alive. I thank you for this anointing. I thank you for the power. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my life. Shout to the glory of God. You see, he said this to us. Exodus 14. Exodus 14, 21 to 24. Watch this. Watch this. This year, what God is about to do for us. Exodus 14, 21. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea and the Lord opened up a path through the water with a strong east wind. The wind blew all that night, turning the seabed into dry land. This year, 2018, Amen. until your breakthrough arrives, the wind will keep blowing till you see the seabed. Whatever you suffered last year, it's different this year. Right now at Solution Center, before the anointing hits you, God is hitting you. The wind is blowing upon you. Receive it with a shout in Jesus' mighty name. The wind blew all night. Simply, God is going to work on us till you see the breakthrough. Until you see the seabed to walk, the wind will still be blowing. Receive it with a mighty shout in Jesus' name. Roll over. 22. 22. So the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground with walls of water on each side. What a miracle. Whatever you faced last year is gone, dead, and buried forever. This year, there's a wall around you. A sea wall that God himself has erected. No demon, no principalities, no powers, no spiritual... Nothing can change you until you walk through to receive your breakthrough. Do you want to receive a breakthrough today? Shout to the glory of God. Then the Egyptians, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots and chariots, chased them into the middle of the sea. Fear nothing this year. God will trap them for you. As you are praying and the devil is saying there is no answer, keep praying. This year, please, let's talk less and pray more. 
Talk less and pray more. Talk less and pray more. Hallelujah. Because as you see them coming, God has a trap for them. But just before dawn, the Lord looked down on the Egyptian army from the pillar of fire and cloud and he threw their forces into total confusion. This year, when you see your enemies fighting, it's because God has thrown them into confusion. He's going to fight for us. We are not going to fight anymore. Any demon here in the service should try and gather his troops. God will scatter them on your behalf. Give him a shout of praise this morning. In Exodus, the same 14. Let's look at the 25. Add the 25 to it for me, please. 25 says what? He twisted their chariot wheels, making their chariots difficult to drive. Let's get out of here, away from the Israelites. The Egyptians even shouted. You see, the shout we've been doing, they knew that when they shouted, they could flee. The, this, the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Amen. The Lord is your strength. Amen. The Lord is your might. The Lord is your rear guard. This year we are victorious in Jesus' mighty name. No demon from hell will challenge us because we are going to go through. Hallelujah. Amen. Exodus 14, 13 to 14. 13 to 14. What does it say? Exodus 14. We're in the same chapter. 13 to 14. It says, so, But Moses told the people, Don't be afraid. This year, 2018. Don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. After the anointing, you've been rescued. Before the anointing, you are being rescued. Within the anointing, you are rescued. Don't live here with fear. You see, the mistake we do is fear is spelled with F, but it's capital F. Faith. Fear is small F. Faith is capital F. But if you mix it around, you always think that fear is bigger than faith. But God is saying what? Don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The gypsies you saw last year, the gypsies you are seeing now, you will never see them again after this first day of solution. Give him a shout of praise. And the 14 says, the Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Give him a shout this morning. Let's look at Job. Job 8, 22-22. Job 8. Job 8, New Living Translation. Hmm. 20 to 22. It says what? But look. As a prophet will say, look at look. Mm -hmm. But look, God will not reject a person of integrity, which is you. Amen. Believe it. Believe it. Don't, don't let the devil tell you that you are a sinner, you are this, you are that. You are a person of integrity. Amen. Nor will he lend a hand to the wicked. Go on. This year, 2018, he will once again Fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. Amen. And you are looking at me. Shouts of joy. You are not happy about shouts of joy. 2018, the Lord will fill you with shouts of joy. Hallelujah. And he says, those who hate you will be clothed with shame. Amen. And the home of the wicked will be destroyed. Hmm? The home of the what? The wicked. Huh. So if you leave Solution Center today, you get into your neighborhood, and that lady, that man, that guy, that boy who's been pointing fingers at you, there's a bulldozer raising his house down. It's because you shouted in the house of the Lord. Give the Lord a shout. Come on, a shout of praise. Shout of praise.
somebody a high five, tell that person, we are here. Hallelujah, not just one person. 2018, we are here. With God's grace and favor and mercy around us. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. It's a Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah
Continue to praise his holy name. Thank you very much. Very soon I will call you back here again uh, for us to. He deserves it. He deserves it. Hallelujah. He alone deserves all praise and worship. Let's praise him. The Bible says that uh, to us believe our report. Was believe our report. There's a report. Who will believe it? The scripture says in, this, just in Isaiah, there is a question who has believed that report. I said, the one when he said, who has believed our report? So that it's difficult to believe the report. When it comes and tells you Jesus can save. It's difficult to believe it. But who has believed that report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Who have seen the power of God? Who is qualified for God's power to be revealed unto him? Let me continue. For that one shall grow up before him as a tender plant, as a root uh, out of the ground, uh, a dry ground, and he has no form of comeliness. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. We're talking about Jesus Christ. All the power of God is invested in him, but it's difficult for you to believe that he is a Christ. Today, that's not going to be my scripture. I'm going to just talk on Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 60. He said, arise. If you sit where you are, you will, at the end of the year, you will be where you are. Somebody say, anuma and tua. Ujinaho. Praise God. <laughs> so if you don't arise which now you never get to any place so he said first tell somebody arise, arise. tell the next person arise. arise say arise and do what shine this is your time to shine this is your time to show forth the glory of God. In the business field, it is your time to shine. In the marital field, it is your time to shine. In the financial field, it is your time to shine. Don't just sit down. Tell somebody, arise and shine. Wow, I love that. That alone is enough for us to close. For your light has come in the 2018. Your light has come. Direction for your life has come. Light make you see the way clear. The reason why you will sit down is because you don't know what to do or where to go or there's darkness around you. If you sit down and say, oh, it's still difficult, you will continue to remain They said, Arise. For what? 
tell somebody your light has come. Tell the next person your light has come. Tell the next person your light has come. I love that scripture. And it continues. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Some people think they've covered their face with disgrace. Today, I have a good news for you. The shame is being exchanged for the glory of God. God's glory everywhere you enter. Those who don't even like you, they will look at your face and see God's glory. I'm prophesying to some people. La Grashiba, Meyona, Sapradu, Eta, Isha, Birioka, Taragia. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. There are two contrasts. Sometimes we feel because God's glory is going to come upon you, the light of God is going to shine, everything will be formed. Whenever God's power moves, it means that the devil's power is coming. You can't desire God's power. Power is not for nothing. Light is not for nothing. Light is to drive away what? Darkness. If there is no darkness, there will not be a need for a light. The reason why there's all these lights is because if you put it off, darkness will come and stay here. If we were meeting outside in the sun, we wouldn't need light. So anytime God's light begins to show forth, it means that dark darkness is also around. So when you see darkness and hear about darkness in this year, difficult time, remember that God has given you what it takes. The solution to darkness is light. The solution to the world problem is you. you say, hey, prophet, how can I be in my little Ghana here and affect the world? You can. Jesus was also in his little place there. But affected the whole world. Brethren, light is going to come upon you. But it will come upon those who will arise. Not those who are sleeping and lying down and say, There's nothing I can do. If you don't take a move, Satan will just rejoice and be doing his things. But it's time for the church to arise. Yeah. Yes, there are certain things sometimes say, oh, from Yami. Yes, we give to God. But God is telling you, arise. Arise. If last year you went and you were looking for a job, and you didn't get, because as you got this courage, you say, look, I am no longer going to look for a job. Now, arise. You might be the one that is going to employ other people. For your light has come. 
And that gross darkness of unemployment is going to be solved by you. Oh, I love it. Arise and shine. For your light has won. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And deep darkness, the people. The world is trying to call darkness light. They try to redefine good as bad. They try to change the scriptures. And the time since it's coming, there are some places you can read some portion of the Bible. It's an offense. But they swear by the Bible too. They will take the Bible swear, but there are some area when you read it, it's an offense. I don't see the sense in it. But God is bringing some people up. He is, his light and glory is coming upon them. Like the days of Pentecost. When he took fishermen, he took ordinary men. And then the whole city upside down. Let me continue. I love it. For behold, darkness shall, continue, shall cover the earth, deep darkness, the people. Not only the earth, but the people too. Imagine their mind will be darkened. Wickedness in the mind of people. Love is taken out. Hatred is ruling. Oh, let me finish, please. My face is not important as the scripture. But when you read this, you get discouraged. When they said, behold, the darkness shall cover what? The earth. And deep darkness where? Then it means that it's a bad news, isn't it? There is, the next something follows. When you see that bat. But the Lord will what? Arise over who? You. Let the darkness cover the world, the earth. Let deep darkness over the people. The reverse is going to happen to you. The Lord will do what? Rise where? Over you. And his glory will be seen upon you. <laughs> it's very easy to see light and glory in darkness than in light, where there's light, isn't it? When there is gross darkness, every little light becomes visible. Isn't it? So God is going to make you visible in the midst of this darkness. The darkness is only going to reveal you. It's only going to announce that you are here. When the darkness is coming, what it meant is that it's only going to let people's mind come over here. There is some light here. Wow. Today we're going to receive some oil and anoint upon our life. Yeah. Said that then the what? The Gentiles shall what? Shall come to your light.
It is when the light of the Lord, the glory of the Lord comes upon you. The Gentiles in my time, those who do not practice the things of God, it doesn't matter where you stand, will then come to your light. This is not an argument whether this is like this or this is not. When they see the light, in this area when we came here, when it rains, and there's darkness all around, and you put up light, you put on the light, you see these flies all flying towards the light. The Gentiles will come to you. You don't need to go and call the flies that come. They will come. Because the light will draw them and attract them. Sometimes I look at this, ah, this is very irritating, but I'm learning a lesson. I said, this light is there. It didn't call them, the insects. But these insects got attracted to it. The same way as you become the light. Whatever you need to attract, the Gentiles will be attracted to you. He didn't need to manipulate. He didn't need to cut somebody's leg to get the flies. He didn't need to destroy somebody to get them. The flies will come to you. Nobody can stop them. There are many things, there were many things that do not give light. They bypassed all of them and came to the light. The same way it will bypass everything and come to you. The gentle shall run to your light. Don't be running after what the gentle are seeking. Rather the gentle are going to run after you. And what? And kings to what? The brightness of what? Your rising. Those who hold authority, those who rule, they will do what? To the brightness, they will move their bright. They will come and ask. You don't need to go and make some uh, arrangement. How do you call it? Uh, connection. The connection will connect you. Yeah. You are there. The kings themselves, they'll be looking for you. I'll be saying, oh, no, no. Today, I am busy. Say, give me time. The president wants to see you. I said, wait. Let me see. I have an appointment. I'm going to this place. When I come back, then we can meet. You then determine. But where there is light, you cannot ignore it. He need your light to move. He need your light to take decision. He need your light to make what he want to do to come to pass. When somebody needs you, you don't run after him. He run after you. I hope you're getting me. And this year you'll be very, you too, you'll matter a little. Yeah. Ah! The Pia. You go to any place and they call you non, non what? Non energy. Non, non, non. 
non-entity. Ah! This time you're also going to be some entity. Yeah. You're going to be an entity that they will all be seeking for. Ah, Paru. Let me finish. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Your sons will no longer be sold as slaves in the desert somewhere. It's an abomination. Just because of some little dollar, your sons have been maltreated in the modern day sold. I left some of them were so far, I think 400 or 500 dollars. How? That is how they value you. This time is going to be the reverse. Your sons will come back here. Not crying. But you feed them by your side. They shall come to this country they shall come to your home and shall find clothing, housing, and what is needed for mankind. He said, Prophet, what are you saying? I'm prophesying to you. He said, hey, Prophet, hmm. Ha! Huh. And the time is coming. I believe that as the light shines upon you, people are no longer going to make line for a visa for traveling to somebody's country it is your right to walk to any part of this world the earth belong to the lord and the fullness thereof let no small boy just look at your face without any explanation Say, I refuse you. Miha, what you've got in your account is more than what is in his account. He's living on credit. <laughs> Meanwhile, you've got a house. The house is living on. When he loses his job today, he will lose that house. But he will look at you straight in your face. And you can't ask him a question. A time shall come. They shall beg you. Come. Come. When your light is shining, every country wants to get you. But they know when you will come there their citizens will be blessed. You know, when you walk there, the things you will buy, it will help their economy. You know, when you get there, their hotels will have people to sleep in. The light of God must shine. Enough is enough. I saw the map of Africa which have as if some darkness fell upon it. And the people were wailing. Then the light, something like lightning came and some giant rose out of it and there was light all over. One day, I believe that God. So I say, hey, this corruption, don't worry. God knows when light comes, 
You know, corruption is not done in the open. Who takes bribe in the open? No. But when there's a light, it will be difficult to take. When there's darkness, you can cry corruption. It's easy. Even when it's passing by a small entity, he will drop it and nobody can see it. He can pick it. But when there's light, sometimes they grease in the grease. How do you call it? Some grease, grease like the, the money is in the middle of the hands. He moved the hands and the tin is emptied. Let me continue. Then you shall see and become what? Radiant. And your heart shall swell with what? Joy. Because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentile shall come to you. The abundance of the sea, the fish, the oil, everything in it shall flow to you. The multitude of camels shall cover your land. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephraim and all those that Sheba shall come they shall bring gold and incense and proclaim the praises of the Lord. I believe that this is your time. I read a scripture. I think in Mark chapter 9 or so, when Jesus' disciples tried everything and it didn't work. I think 9 verse 8. They tried everything, it didn't work. It's not the sea. Somebody brought the child. Because some demon, no, some of the demons are very stubborn. There's some problem, you pray, 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 pray. You open your eyes. And they look stronger than when you started. So they, they, they decided to. I think let me go a little bit further. Now, as they came, okay, that's good. Isaac, verse 8, verse 8, verse 8. Okay, let me read from verse 1. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that there are some standing here that will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with, present with, present with power. Some might see the power of God before they die. Ah! You must see Fili Fili Nyangupongi to me. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up to the mountain uh, apart by themselves and there was transfigured before them. Okay, let's continue. I love it. His clothes became what? Shining, exceedingly white, like snow, such as no, huh? no London. Nobody can wash the cloth to be white like that. Mine is not proper white. Such as if my guest close to that one, you think uh, this guy. Exceedingly white, and, uh, and Elijah appeared to them with Moses. Hey. And they were talking with Jesus. Someone asked me, Prophet, what were they saying? I don't know. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here and let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, 
and one for Elijah. Continue. Because he did not know what to say, for they were greatly afraid. So that he may toss on our heart. And a cloud came and overshadowed them. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him. Continue. Suddenly, when they had looked around, they saw no one anymore, but only Jesus with them. Moses was gone. Elijah was gone. Jesus is left with us here. Don't go tied up with Moses and listen to my son, and they will go and leave Jesus. It's Jesus who is living in your heart, and who will continue to live in your heart. You can have experiences of Elijah, experience of Moses, but Jesus will continue to be with you. Mm -hmm. Now, as they came down from the mountain, he commanded them that they should not tell, they should tell no one the things they had seen till the sons of man had risen from the dead. It's not everything you see. Some of you, you talk too much. When you are starting a business, before you visit the business, you tell everybody and they take the business from you. Let the thing be fruitful. Let the thing come. Let the glory be seen first. Some of you, your defeat is your mouth. Your trouble and problem is your mouth. So they kept this word to themselves. Questioning what the rising from the dead meant. Okay, continue. And they asked him, saying, Why did the scribe say that Elijah must first come? And he answered and said to them, Indeed, Elijah is coming first. Uh, uh, Elijah is coming first and restore all things. And how is it written? Is it and how? Is it written and concerning the Son of Man that he must suffer many things and be treated with contempt? But I say to you that Elijah has come, also come, and they did, and they did to him whatever they wished, as it is written of him. So Elijah came, but they didn't know Elijah has come. They were waiting for a human Elijah with a beard. But the spirit of Elijah was there. People thought Elijah was going to come the way he was taken up. The, the same way they would see chariot of fire and Elijah would come. Zoom. But Elijah came in a certain way, an ordinary way. Most of the time, the thing God has said, if we don't have the zenning of spirit, the thing, you will meet God angel and will treat God angel. You even meet Jesus Christ and slap him. Okay. After that experience, what happened? And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude around them and the scribe disputing with them. Uh -huh. Immediately, when they saw him, all the people were greatly amazed and ran into him, greeted him. Oh, great. These are the people. And he asked the scribe, what are the discussions with them? Okay, continue. Then one of the crowd answered and said, teacher, I brought you my son who was a mute spirit. A mute spirit. I think you understand mute. Because anybody have got a, a phone, you know how to put it mute. I mean, I don't talk. And wherever it, it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and what? Become rigid. So I spoke to your disciple that they shall cast it out. But they could not. Very frustrating. Some of us, last year, we had the problem, but 
we could not. So let's see. He answered him and said, O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. When they brought him to him, and when they saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. Mm -hmm. So he asked his father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. And often he throws him both into the fire and into the water hey! hmm. to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Today, some of us are still there. Jesus, oh God, if you can do anything, have compassion. Sometimes I don't even deserve it. If you look at your life, you think you don't deserve God's miracle, but he can have compassion over you. Okay. I like the fathers. And she said to him, if you can believe, she said, if you can do anything, she said, you too, if you can also believe all things are possible to him who believes. Today, I'm bringing a place where you can believe to make all things possible to you. Then he continues. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. You say you believe, but you're asking. <laughs> so he want to cover all ground. He said, look, why is that believe? I say, like, the thing is too, I did not check. So even though I believe, I don't see how the thing will go, but still help that problem. Sometimes you go through a problem for a very long time. Then when you come to believe, it is, you will believe, but still there are some uh, you look at the thing, God can do it all, but so he said, help that unbelief. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus saw that the people came running towards together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. So it means that sometimes it will come back and it will go and come back. So he said, look, I am commanding you. I know you are very, very stubborn. If you go and uh, the place, you will come back. But this one, as you go, don't come back again. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, came out of him, and he became as a dead man, as, as one dead. So that many said, he is dead. They say, hey, Jesus has killed the boy. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and arose. And when he had come into the house, his disciple asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? This is the question we've all been asking. Lord, why did we pray and it didn't happen? How many of you have ever prayed and the prayer didn't work before? Don't lie to me. All of us sometimes have this question. Why could we not cast it out? Why could I not do this? Why, oh God, I believed you, but it didn't happen? Why, oh God, the way I prayed and I didn't see the result? I thank God they asked. Even though they saw their impotency, they saw themselves powerless when they came to that child, but they did not remain there. They continued to seek and to move on in life. If you have failed last year, don't remain there. And don't be crippled by that situation. They continue to ask Jesus, why? We want to find reasons so that we can rise up. We are still hungry for, for, for resolve. We are hungry to see your hand. We are hungry to see what things happen to our life. That hunger will bring the miracle to you. If you have failed before, 
and there are many questions in your mind. If you fail, questions will come. If you expect to see that if I take my life, I will take five steps, I must get it. You take five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And you are still at the same place. You must ask yourself. Because five steps might take you forward. But you went two and went backward. Three. So minus one. He said, Jesus, I started this. Why? And Jesus said, look at what Jesus said. So he said to them, this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. That's why we are praying here. We want to pray today. There are certain situations you might have tried everything, but I want us to pray. We're going to anoint you. We're going to pray that we receive the anointing and live. Giant situations are going to move out. But light is coming. Darkness must give way. The, those that are always keeping you today, your questions will be answered. Some of us have tried many things. Some of us have entered into relationships. First relationship broken. Second didn't work. Third, didn't work. Fourth, didn't work. So it is now autopilot. Every proposal that comes, autopilot. You know how it's going to end. You know that oh, these guys, they are not serious. They are at the point, the proposal that comes are men who are married. Or who are too old for your age. You look at it. Hey. All right. We are not going to take anything, sir. God, God says that the desire of our heart, it is the desire of our heart. Don't let condition force you to take a decision. Don't let condition force you to eat what you don't want to eat. You have a desire. A desire will be fulfilled. So why couldn't we cast it out? Why didn't I, was I not able to do it last year? Why? I believe you, oh God, with everything, but it didn't work. Hey. Why? Today. As we pray, the why will be answered. We're going to call upon God. We're going to cry to God. Every stubborn situation in your life will have to give way. This is a new year for a new strength to conquer new territories. Now arise. Tell somebody, arise. We're going to pray. I want you to take about three things you failed. You've been tackling, you couldn't tackle. There are certain things they always put you down all the time. Today, we are going to put it down today. We are going to wrestle with those things, and we are going to put them down. For the first time, you'll be on top and not beneath. Some of us are going to shine this year. I said, you're going to shine. Yeah. 
this is your day. Amen. This year is your year. Amen. The battle might look impossible, but God is on our side. Amen. Can we stand up and pray a little before? I wanted to pray. Take those three things and pray. Those three things. Pray. Those three things. I want you to pray. If you don't have them, you can take somebody's one and pray for him. Some of you, you captured and conquered everything last year. There are no areas. Help somebody take down his uh, and, 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 and ask the person, hey, sister or brother, I want to help you. Because my no problem. But if you have put three, and I believe you everybody have got some three, at least if not three, one, you have it. We're going to, because it is your day and your year to shine. Whatever shines, wherever you go, you are seen. The day that will reveal, the revelation will come. You cannot shine. The glory cannot come upon you for you to come down and meet that situation and not be able to solve it. The Bible says, Jesus, the glory came upon Jesus. So when he descended down and met the demonic forces, he didn't have any problem because he stood out. The same way we are at the top of the mountain, we are receiving the light and we come down and to dispel the works of Satan. Two, the up Jesus was shining, while on the ground there was total darkness. The reason why the people were around the disciple was that the disciple were struggling with the work of darkness. And they were arguing with them. You people say you can cast out demon. Look, you are suffering there. Peter, maybe Peter was up there, James was up there, the rest of Jesus. But the rest was down there trying to do what they could do. They tried the former thing they did, but this one didn't work. And they were teasing them. They were making fun of them. As people make fun of the church, a time is coming that you shall shine. A time shall come that people will fear the church. Not because we are telling them a story, but because they have seen it by themselves. It should attract their own believers. Today is a day. I want you to pray. Cry to him. This kind of prayer cannot cast out demon. The kind of prayer you are praying. It cannot deal with the problem. We must rise up in our prayer life. Arrest all conditioned situations. Pray. 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 Your time for victory is now. Your time to shine. That shame should not be associated with you. You can't even walk among men. Time has come. Your time has come. Your time 
has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. You can take it. Take whatever battle you lost last year. You're telling the devil you're going to move beyond that. The light is going to shine. Victory is going to come upon you. You are now going to walk into higher levels in your life. Favor is coming. Fresh oil is coming upon your life. Freshness. 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 Pray. 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 Your time of victory is now. Your time to take it is now. Your time, Cabradia, Cabradia, Ziriama, Ela Gracia, Lambreki Makata. Beriona kai noka, jaraburi ana kaya dakwa. Area o makaya raata, mekaya. Marekaya baroda, jeria barababa, jo marikataya, baria nakaya, jeria nakomarita. Moriata Elakama Zerikata Zola Bari Barikataya Zeria Morikataya Pray Pray The breakthrough is coming Breakthrough is coming Cabra da sa, cabra da ba, pray, today, not that they couldn't, I believe, arise now, shine, for your light has come. The Lord is going to rise upon you. The glory of the Lord shall appear over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Nations shall come upon your light. Before you realize Great thing might have happened around you. 
before you realize all oh, people have surrounded you not destroy you your time has come arise arise Kimakaya, Dabrakaya, Ila Grasiba, Nagrasia, Salagrasia, Ila Mandoriata, Zeliara, Pray. 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 Now it's time to shine. Take it. Failure will no longer be yours again. No. Pray. 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 Failure shall no longer be yours. Kamarakata, Maria Dakaya, Ela Grashiba, pray. I see giant rising out from a place of despair, why there was no hope. God is bringing you up. Pray. Cabra da Cata, Mireki Amaka, Mograciba, Eta, Mirika, Paruka, Tarumbi in Kiatakaya. Thank you, Lord. A time. I see new strength to begin. I see the light in January, February, March, April, May, June. You defeating every enemy, dispelling work of darkness. The Bible says we're resting on against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
those in dark areas. Victory is coming upon your life. Before we do the anointing, I feel you should give opportunity for people to tap into the anointing. And I feel I want people who can just sow the seed of 120 each for a year 10 for a year eh, for a month the whole month is 12 months so 120 Ghana. i want people to lift up their faith in that area if you don't have it you can give it by faith you don't have it here you can give it by faith and later maybe whatever i come you give it I want to 120 Ghana cities. If you want to make it dollars too, that's okay. At least every year, every month should be. I want them to come first. Then we can then start. Can Pastor Frimpon, can you help me? Uh, Pastor, listen, can the pastor, can you help me too? Go to, just put it inside. One has fallen down. If you brought it, just put it inside. Pastors, come and help me. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, just I will then please give me the oil. If you the Swiss ones are ready. If you put it in, just come and pass while I just drop it on the. No, let him. I, do you want more? Okay. You want more? If you drop it, have you dropped it? Father, I use this as a point of contact. And Lord, let this year be a year. Every month be a month of divine victory for their life. Have they given you the envelope? Not yet. Yes, O oh God. So shall it be? You want more? Hey. What have I done? I think. Release. If I'm going to just go and sit down. Don't just rush. Just gradually. I'll do it. If you've got an envelope, just, oh Lord. The word is a seed. Thank you, Jesus. When planted a water. More envelopes. Close to the grave. Yeah, give me songs. Mm. You can be anything you want. Please. Can achieve all our dreams if you only believe. Release this upon your life. The word of God I see today working right at you. Would you believe? Dare to receive. If I'm going to, please just go and sit down. You may be done. Maybe the sky 
It's only for a while. If you're anointed. Hallelujah. The word of God I see today. Working right at you. Let somebody uh, Would you and some mother come and take this watch. There are some people here. Did oh, you're still waiting for me. Pastor G. There are people here. Let them. They will give it to you. In a world where the sea Those who've got it. Sometimes. This is your season. Your time to shine again. There are some sicknesses and diseases that have tortured you for last year, for many years. You could not do anything about it. You can believe God. This is the time your light shall shine. Your light shall shine. Your time to shine again. It's your season. You may be down. Be the scary. It's only for a while. Yeah. I'm strong. I'm bold. It's my time to shine, to shine, and shine again. The word of God I see today It's working right at you Did you believe To receive In a world where the seasons and time this is your season, your time to shine again. Yeah. In a world where the seasons and times, this is your season, your time to shine again. Yeah. I believe this is your season Your time to shine again yeah. Do you believe it? I believe this is my season my time to shine again. Yeah. Hey, do you believe it? I believe this is my season. My time to shine again. To shine again. Yeah.
This is your season, your time to shine again. In a world where the seasons and time, this is my season, my time to shine again. your season JT18 you will shine and shine again Ever belongs to you this year from this January to December. The oil who is on this line that wanted to travel. Who is traveling on this line? You. receive your oil I don't know you who is your say who is your father who is your say your dad what do you want Financial breakthrough. There's a battle in your life. You've been trying, but nothing seems to work. You are like the child that they were praying for, and everything looked down. What cause are you take? Do you take? What cause? Law. Come here. Lady, what do you want to do? You want to read law? Are you in school? You want to? You want to go and read law? That's your desire. If you like reading. Good. Whatever you desire, it shall come to pass. I also pray. You are completing. You are completing this year. 
she wants to enter. You see, Father, I pray for a replacement. As she leaves, let this one come in. Amen.
rejoice today I've heard you where is your blue bag handbag is it blue Shall I tell you what is inside? I want. Did the warners? Did the warner? Did the warners? You must rise up to break. I have heard you. Whatever you carried and brought here, God has heard you. He's seen your tears. Deliverance from evil powers and forces that have come against your life. And you are walking in fear that they can destroy you and end certain things in your life. Today, stand up, arise, for your light shall shine and darkness shall spare and you will send forth that light to wherever there is darkness instead of them chasing you you shall chase them Amen. for they shall be your portion lady i have heard it what you ask i heard it take the answer and it shall be yours for great name shall be made out of it and the great answer shall come. Is that your season? And you say, what about me? Say, can be a woman home. Is it a month or what? Your kind of man. What's the my Are you serious? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Mr. 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 Today, this shows that God knows you. Someone says, that, Hey, prophet, what about me? I mean, so, <laughs> I'd rather, we're going to take the anointing when we finish. Then, if there's enough time, then we can then have some time. Release. You are standing as a sample for many situations here. A sample for healing. A sample for breakthrough a sample for divine let me see the hand God. your light shall shine Wherever you get to, your light shall shine. The glory of the Lord shall go before thee. Where there is darkness, you shall expel darkness. And they stand in for some of you have forces coming against your area, your life, your family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today, I see light in And I feel some people are being set free today. Amen. And as a thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Just right now. Bring them, bring them. We can go and sit down. We can go and sit down. As we worship, please 
bring her, bring her. I see a release. You call for life. I don't die. The giant I saw rising up out of the darkness. Yes. Yes. Take your portion. The giant today. Kabrashika. Many giants are coming up. They shall arise with strength from this place. You take it. Yes. Giants are coming up. For they shall trample upon their enemies. Yes. The season and the time for you to conquer is now. I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. Yes. The time. Take them. The next people I'm going to anoint. About 20 people coming up with new strength going through the year bringing victory unto themselves and other people. Yes, God is going to rewrite your story. He's rewriting the story of about 20 people. The Spirit of the Lord will come upon them. Thank you. You are God. You are God. You are God. You are God.
just let go to her. Bring her. Bring her. Thank you. shall be your portion for strength and energy to fulfill your mandate your mandate your mandate your mandate your mandate yes 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 and so shall you go around the whole world by your son and by the power.
said you can't believe it. You said I can't believe it. You could you can't believe you're the one walking like this. You can't believe it. I can't believe it now. Jesus name. Are you the one? Yes, please. What what is happening to you? I don't know, but I feel released. I can walk. I don't do it again. Your name is Feel the pain again, then go and sit down.
Some of you, you even try to lose, but lose will evade. Time is gone. This year I decided to close very early. I don't know why I got to this time. 
but is better, isn't it? Even though I want to put time there, I also want to give the room for the one who controls time yes. to do his work. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. How many of you have been anointed? A lot? Okay. We'll do the anointing very soon. Be seated. Oh, let them lie down. Let them lie down. Don't trouble them. Let them lie down and still. Wow. That lady shake to me the one that got like that just say, say ah, just just shake, shake, shake just a oh, wow. Wow. Bless you. This is what the power of God can do. It's not a man. I cannot explain it. And nobody can explain it. It is not me. It's not anybody. But it's God. The same way those who are crippled, who have been slowed down by the enemy, your speed will be like this woman. Yeah. Your crutches that you need, without it, you're not able to move. And because of that, people will just be, because you need them as crutches. So they say, because they don't have time, so it's sleep. To determine when you should move out or not. Today is over. Yeah. What God has planned for you, nothing can stop you. Yeah. You are unstoppable. Yeah. You will get your destination yeah. according to the word of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. We're going to take our offering. Then those who have me anointed, I'll see what we can do. But you'll be anointed by all means. Take this your first year, first day of your solution. When the Spirit of God moves, that's the best place to invest. Don't let any pastor pump you to give. Let the Holy Spirit enable you to give. Lord, this are seed, not only money they are sowing. The seed that will bring forth fruit, not only for one season, but for many seasons. As we're singing, I saw people who were unfruitful becoming fruitful. Lord, I pray that the works of their hands will be blessed. Whatever they do will be blessed. Any demonic force that have been behind them, retarding their progress, which they call enemy of progress, this afternoon, I decree that to be out of their life. Yeah. As they sow this seed, may they reap a hundredfold. Yeah. May the oil fall upon them yeah. in a greater way. Amen and amen. Ushers, yeah. do you have the uh, boats? Are you See. ready? With the... What I'll do is I'll pray on the oil. After that, each one, you just put your hand on it and anoint yourself. Everybody, if it pass, you can use it. Anoint yourself. This is a new beginning, a new strength. A light has come. You are sent as a child of light into the midst of darkness to expel the work of darkness.
taking away my sorrows and I am free. Hey! Agame Buddha, hallelujah, Buru. Agame Buddha, hallelujah, Buddha. Because of Jesus, every day, I shall have a new day. Hey! Double, 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 Take the anointing very soon, they will close. Oh, you finish. Hey, look, we are fast. Oh. How many of you have been anointed? You haven't anointed yourself. Here, yeah, give it to them. Charlie, you are great. You've made the work very fast. This is how the year will be. Oh. For so long, yeah, my bro. This one is Rebecca. I yeah, he has given me victory. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's good to be in the presence of God. I believe that this year will be a year of power. White giant problem will be running away because light will enter into places where there's darkness. The Bible says that and the light shall shine and the darkness could not what? 
comprehend it. It cannot and will not and may not and could not whatever not but light brethren when the light enters diseases and sickness give way because they are the work of darkness it gives way light you have been sent as a light into where darkness is and wherever you enter your workplace your office your homes your bedrooms your area you have set up as you enter there whatever spirit and power of that man that operate in that area as you enter there may they be light at the hospitals as you enter there may the sickness and diseases be healed I knew when we were singing as if impossible barren women. Some of them who knew wombs were being created. I saw creative miracle. And this is your portion. Hallelujah. So next week, we'll continue. Double, double. We're going to continue firework throughout I am fire so we're close can you sit down while we thank you very much you're welcome I should have welcomed you first but I welcome you at the end to the year 2018 the 18 is a good that's the eighth. And when you see the mark eight, it's time for beginning. It is a time of beginning. Yeah. If things had not gone right for you, something new is beginning in your life. God is going to do new things you have never seen or heard of. Your level of encounter with God will be higher. And this shall be your portion. Amen and amen. amen. Some of you, you've met setback, setback, setback. Today, you're going to chase setback. Yeah. If a setback is going to back set. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And this shall be your portion. May the Lord bless you. Let his face shine upon you. May he make your light continuously in any place that you go. Wherever you step, may the presence of the Lord go with you. Next week will be another powerful, this is just an introduction. It is going to be super, super. Makrasi Baya. Yeah, I know it shall happen. Come early and we'll close early. God bless you. Amen. Can we, how many of you are blessed today? Praise God. So today, I want you to be merciful to me. How many of you merciful to me? Yeah. I won't have time for second seven. Just immediately from this place, I have another program. Just 50 minutes time, I should be ministering. Hallelujah. So, after after I have told you this, and you still wait for me, then, voila, voila. Hallelujah. I love you. So, we can make room for you. So, God bless you. Shall we share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Bless you.